Turkey says a rigorous track and trace system there has helped keep the virus at bay. Officials claim to have carried out 4.7 million tests to date and say that in the last four weeks alone, there have been more recoveries from the disease than infections. The country has seen over 230,000 COVID-19 cases and more than 5,000 deaths in a population of 83 million. Our special correspondent Alex Crawford joined Turkey's so-called COVID detectives carrying out the tests, as well as leading doctors working in the country's hospitals. From Istanbul, she sent this report. Turkey's COVID detectives are on the hunt, going into homes, tracking down and testing all those who might have caught the virus. There are thousands doing this across the country, answering calls from those who have symptoms. Uh, I hope everybody, not just our country, but all people uh, will uh, get rid of this virus, at least find a cure. Now the search begins for all those he's been in contact with for the past fortnight. There are teams like this working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, trying to get in contact with everyone who's got COVID, anyone who's been in contact with someone who's got COVID or who may have COVID. And this is how they've managed to get ahead of the curve. All of them are now isolating for two weeks. Turkey has tested nearly 5 million so far, mobilizing its test and track teams just after the first COVID positive case in early March. They've been going ever since, using an app to help in the hunt and claiming incredible results. But do you think you've managed to trace absolutely everyone that's ever had coronavirus? In our own con control, yes. We're 100% sure about this. Well, that's, that we quite, have, a, that's yes. quite a statement. Yes, it is a quite a statement. Um, I'm, I can just assure you about this information. Uh, you know, with my own team, as a way to say, let's say, even if I give you as a fatty as an example, which is the center of Istanbul, we have traced 100% of each COVID-19 case, case that we have. There are 24 testing labs in Istanbul alone and testing centers at the airport for overseas arrivals who show symptoms. In Turkey, it's very much a patriotic response to a national attack. I'm proud of all, all of the uh, team, I think. Yeah, all of myself, for my country, for uh, all the world. It's my, okay, it's really good feelings, I think. Turkey's pumped huge amounts of money into fighting the pandemic, building two hospitals within a record 45 days. It's money its economy can ill afford, with the lira plummeting to record lows in recent weeks. You wouldn't think so by looking at this. High-spec individual rooms and the latest high-tech equipment. Their treatment is aggressive and early. They're using computer tomography on this patient who has mild symptoms to confirm instantly if he has COVID. If we see this appearance, this image, uh, we can easily say, yes, this patients have COVID-19. In white areas are uh, COVID lesions. He'll now be put straight onto the controversial hydroxychloroquine drug endorsed by America's President Trump, as well as the antiviral favipiravir used more recently by China. They expect him to leave this huge hospital in five days. All our target is uh, be ahead of the virus, uh, because our, uh, all our aim is uh, stop the progression of the disease. <laughs> For the past month, Turkey says it's had more recoveries than infections. They've also been using plasma from recovered patients to try to build immunity. One doctor described it like a vaccine, although he admitted it doesn't work on everyone. They're throwing everything at this disease. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Istanbul.